Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. It's the weekend reading and that is for the 19th and the 20th of November 2022. Moon in Libra. Oh, love a moon in Libra. Such a good feeling when the moon's in Libra. It just feels a bit more even and a bit more harmonious. So an even and harmonious weekend, please. Let me know your weekend plans in the comment section. I am going to use, I love this tarot. <laughs> I'm going to use the Adrian Tarot because it's just such a hoot, isn't it? It's fantastic. So, Adrian Tarot by... Who's it by? Oh, Miki Crafting. Miki Crafting. What do we need to know? These cards are quite long, actually. Quite long and thin. So, what's going on? There is no one in the hotel. The t-shirts have vanished again maybe there's like generic black wouldn't that be amazing actually i would i would appreciate this just generic black t-shirts when in whatever your size is so that you don't need to bring clothes or do any washing how cool is that i'd go for that definitely so anywho yep yeah, we've got scaffolding up over there but nobody's doing anything today and i reckon they're working on that dilapidated chimney which quite honestly looks like it could fall down at any moment. But we might get more birds if we've got scaffolding, because birds like scaffolding. And also drunk students walk into it at night and you can hear this kind of doink. <laughs> That's quite funny. Okay. So what do we need to know? Weekend. Tell me your plans. Oof. Ooh. Hello. Oh, who's that? I like that. That's cool. Ooh, oh, God, that's a bit creepy. I don't even know what that is. Oh, yeah. I'll show you that one in a minute. <clears throat> oh, I love that guy. <laughs> okay, overall energy card. Is that the Ten of Cups? One, two, three. Oh my God, it is. Overall energy card, Ten of Cups, people. We're not going to kick this out of bed for eating crisps. Mars in Pisces. Libra Moon, Ten of Cups, Do Not Disturb goes on the door. Hurrah. Okay. Let's see what that one is. Hard to know what's upside down and what's right way up here. The actress said to the bishop. Oh. Ten of Wands to go with it. Those of you that watch me regularly will know that the tens come together. So we've got Ten of Cups and Ten of Wands. That's an interesting combination. A burden being lifted. That's my burden being lifted, mine. A burden is lifted, okay? It could just be something that's been on your mind or it could be like literally something very tangible. Um, but it's lifted and we like that. Before it gets lifted, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Oh yeah. Before it gets lifted, it might feel like things do, like a bit of a healing crisis. You know, that um, you can't stick it anymore, you don't want to do it anymore, you don't know what to do next. And then just as you're kind of feeling that way, it moves you to a point of surrender. Hurrah! Okay, we love that. We also have the Seven of Pentacles, which comes up here. It's got patience written on it. But it's also about building something gradually, okay? Building something gradually that you're kind of considering how much to invest in. So this could be about your job, it could be about a relationship with a person or just a, gen a general situation. You are working out how much you can invest and how much is not worth it. And this can even apply to things where you've already invested a lot and you think to yourself, I'm just going to cut and run at this point, you know, I've done enough, or I'm going to 
bank what I've got, but I'm not doing any more, okay? Five of Swords, Venus in Aquarius. There's a, fee there's a bit of sixes and sevens here. There's a bit of ups and downs. There's a feeling of, because we also have the Five of Wands. There's a feeling of feeling a bit distracted lately and feeling a bit like there's been crossed wires lately and feeling like a situation is a certain way, even if it is or if it isn't, okay? And there's two major arcana cards here. One is the High Priestess, look at that. Do you think she's been to the hotel and maybe that was hanging on the rack? Just like several kind of little black dresses on the rack. I rather like this, looks like she's in a cup. Anywho, got the High Priestess, which tells you that your intuition is very on point, but the situation itself has been a little bit kind of 3D complicated. Crossed wires have been coming up for ages in the daily readings. Um, some suppressed feelings with the Five of Swords. People not being really quite open about things. So you need to lean on your intuition, okay? Lean on your intuition. Have in mind the Ten of Cups, but also the Ten of Wands, releasing a burden to access happiness. And then we get this card, which is a bit strange looking. The Sun. Don't really understand that. Let me know if you know any reference of that. Normally the sun is quite kind of the sun, you know, and it's a lovely card to get, obviously, major arcana. It's luck, it's radiance, it's looking forward to that sun moving into Sagittarius very soon. Um, and it's also a very clear understanding of a situation, like a spotlight on something and growth and all of those beautiful things and fire sign people as well with the sun. Um, but yeah, quite strange imagery for that one. And then here we have, oh, I just love this card. Love it. Look at that. Page of Cups. Look at that well-positioned dolphin. Fantastic. I think that's his Tinder profile picture. <laughs> Combining the big fish, look what I caught, with the, <laughs> look at my Lego hair. I mean, God. Can you imagine? I bet you actually, I kid, I kid, but I bet you that is like out there, somebody's Tinder profile, they're just like, stuff it, I'm combining the kind of dick pic with the fish pic with the profile pic, all pics in one, here we are. Let me know if you've ever, seen... no don't actually, <laughs> don't, don't let me know if what you've seen on Tinder, it's terrible, no, don't let me know. Um, Page of Cups, getting back to it. Page of Cups is something coming in. It's been coming in for ages. We've had that Page of Cups. It's that little chink of light, okay? The little chink of light in the darkness. Um, that's a big dolphin, isn't it? The little chink of light that tells you that somebody reaches out with something that's quite nice, that's love orientated. It can be a friend coming forward with something nice. It can be someone asking you on a date or someone just saying something nice and loving to you, okay? Don't knock it back. It's gorgeous energy. Interesting. Those cards are always interesting. Let's have an oracle card. I'll do a love oracle card and I'll do an oracle oracle card. So Belinda Grace love oracle cards. For those of you that are dealing with the dolphin situation. Oh, go on. Do tell me, actually, if... Um, <laughs> if you've seen some funny things on Tinder, because it's, it's good, isn't it? Keep it clean as much as you can. Not too clean. Um, do you know what? I shuffled and we got this again. Distorted feminine. Okay, distorted feminine. Now. I was just looking to see if I have the book. And I do because I'm in the bedroom and the bedroom has books. Ah. Recognize the distorted feminine in your life and release the negative patterns to live fully in the present. So this is lurking somewhere in your life asking to be acknowledged. 
okay? Are you constantly becoming involved with the wrong people? Do you blame them for things that aren't working in your life? Who doesn't? <laughs> we all do. Um, do you second guess yourself or imagine that people are thinking badly of you? It's about being self-conscious. Are you afraid to ask for what you really need? Are you dwelling on feelings of hurt and disappointment? Angels and guides want you to know, now is the time to bring this energy to the surface. Bless it for what it's taught you and let it go and then live in the present, okay? For some of you with this five of wands energy and also the energy of how much more you need to invest, it's just about softening the edges and being in your divine feminine energy, whether you're male or female, okay? Because there's something softer inside this situation. That's why we've got the Page of Cups, which has not presented itself yet. And also your vulnerabilities are a very beautiful thing, but you may have been feeling a bit defensive about it, especially after Scorpio season, who wouldn't? And the Oracle card we get is Mending. This is a particularly divine feminine card for mending. I love this card. So this is mending relationships with somebody, mending relationships with friends, with a lover, Either way, it's a mending that is very, very delicate and subtle, okay? It's nice because we've got that Ten of Cups and it leads to something good. Oof, okay, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates and I'll see you soon. Namaste.